So it is pretty difficult to try and activate your lats if you're trying to pose or something. Um, it's certainly not like something that's gonna come naturally to most people. So what you wanna think about is width. Um, and then you wanna think of the position of the scapula and the lats. So remember, scapula move in, independent of the lats. You wanna keep that scapula depressed, but you wanna push the lats out as much as possible. So on a front double bicep, it's gonna look like that, which looks pretty good in the sliding. When you're thinking about it though, what you're gonna think about, I'm gonna show you from the back, because it's easier for me from the back. I'm thinking about doing almost like a behind the neck pull down. Now I'm in a position where I'm comfortable enough that I can just kind of go into it. But if you're lacking that, what I want you to think about, you're doing a pull down behind the neck, all the way down, and then you're gonna rotate your elbows under. And that's gonna put you in a position where your shoulders are protracted, right? So they're pushed for your scapula, excuse me, protracted, so it's pushed forward. Your lats are out like they're flared. You're almost thinking about pushing your armpits towards the sides of the room. Your scapula is down, and then you're externally rotated to the shoulders, which is gonna show the most muscle possible. And you're just leaning back very slightly. Now, depending on your, sh your shape, you might wanna arch from the thoracic, you might wanna arch from the hips. For me, I like to arch from the thoracic a little bit more because that emphasizes my X frame. But if I arch from the hip, you can see that's gonna pull out my erectors. My erectors are too thick to really look good on stage. But for many people, that's going to give them more of that Y shape that they want. Now, it's different when you're doing a let spread. You're still going to want most of the same concepts. You're still going to want your shoulders protracted. But this time, you're pushing your elbows forward as much as possible, really lifting that ribcage high. Can you step to the side so I can see make sure I'm doing it right? I'm still not that great. Ribcage is nice and high. Elbows are pushed forward. Shoulders are up. But scapula is still depressed. And you see from the back, you're doing the same thing. You can show off a little bit. If you have really good definition, you can kind of do a low row, pull back, really show that separation in the lower back. And then you're going to put your hands here. You're going to push those elbows forward. And you're going to try and pull the ribcage down just slightly, just slightly. You don't want to crunch down. You want just that slight, so you're in a neutral spine position. So the more you can practice that, the better off you're going to be when you're doing your lat training.